For US EPA Campus Rainworks Challenge, we decided to implement a green infrastructure project on the western portion of SCC's campus. The features of the area include multiple concrete sidewalks connecting different parts of SCC's parking lot to the rest of campus. In between the sidewalks are landscaping areas with low-lying shrubs and tall eucalyptus trees. Multiple impervious surfaces like parking lots, asphalt roads, northern portion of campus, portables, and storm drains surround campus, resulting in a majority of seasonal rainfall wasted running down storm drains directed to the ocean. To aid in stormwater runoff from the surrounding areas, our team determined that a bioretention basin with underdrain would be the best option for the task. Soils on campus contained clays and were classified as D soils, unsuitable for an effective bioretention. Installing an underdrain will help mitigate the flooding to a maximum height within the basin, 6 inches per technical guide. Stormwater runoff from the top hill of East Boardmore Trail Street to the U Building classes will be redirected to four biopods, reducing the energy of fast moving runoff and acting as a preliminary filter for the bioretention basin. Access runoff from these pods will be drained into the bioretention basin. The area will be installed with diverse drought tolerant plants to assist the bioretention basin to reduce soil erosion and evapotranspiration, as well as adding an aesthetical improvement to the campus. Drought tolerant plants will include rosemary, lavender, bottle brush, Mexican sage, deer grass, bulbean, lantana, and red yucca. Drought tolerant trees such as California live oak and Palo Verde will also be included, providing shade for pedestrians and habitants for animals. The deer grass and the bioretention will be able to withstand seasonal flooding condition as well as long periods of drought. Storm water that would have been directed to storm drains and eventually to the ocean are now directed to an area that promotes local infiltration of stormwater runoff, replenishing local groundwater sources and aquifers. As a result, our bioretention design reduces the total runoff volume leaving campus, relieving stormwater infrastructures during storm events. Pollutants associated with impervious surfaces like oils, metals, sediments are mitigated through natural filtration of the soil and plants in the bioretention basin, improving TMDL results in channels. Drought tolerant vegetation implemented will attract native wildlife, acting as either habitants or a bridging point for migratory species.